there. Welcome to the Robot Program. I'm Professor E. In this episode, we're going to talk about the new servos that are being used for AdventureBot. And I'm joined by special guest, Jeremy. Jeremy, why don't you tell everybody about yourself? Hey, I'm Jeremy. I'm the electronics designer here at Easy Robot, and I've just celebrated my five-year anniversary. Very exciting. Yeah. Awesome. So today we have the new Easy Robot 360 HDD servos. What makes these different from the existing 360 servos? All right, Emily. Uh, well, one of the features that's different, well, you can kind of see it physically, is that the existing servos have a hole for a potentiometer, and the new servos do not. There's no hole whatsoever. It's actually removed. There's no potentiometer on these servos. So that actually allows us to have zero calibration. There's no calibration step anymore. Great, so that lets us get right to building our robots and right to programming our robots without having to do that calibration step. You bet, it makes it so much quicker. Great, what else is different? So another large difference between the new 360 HDDs and, and the existing servo is that they have much more precision and they, they can actually change more granularly. They have uh, one degree equals about one RPM uh, and instead of um, kind of the existing servo where one degree equals several RPM. And so you can really, really finitely change the speed on, on these servos. It, uh, it's, I guess you could say added resolution as well. So, you know, better precision is always good for our robot projects. And now we can predict the relationship between the degrees and the RPM a little bit better. For sure. Why don't we take a look at these new servos in action? Let's do it. Okay, so I'm gonna move this servo down here. Turn adventure boat on. If we go into the servo movement panel, we can see the values that we need to control these new servos. So we've got 180 for the forward value and one for the reverse value for our left wheel servo. And then of course the reverse for our right wheel servos. What do these values mean? So the actual maximum speed value for these new servos is probably around the one, 170 mark. So we might as well just go all the way to the top and all the way to the bottom. Makes sense. So this allows us to go top speed with the servos. You bet, we're gonna go as fast as we can. Great, and this is a little bit different from the older version of the servos. Yeah, so these servos are slower, so we will want to, to maximize our speed with these servos. With the other servos, we they're really fast, so we wanted to trim those down, and that's why those values were, I think, at 116, and I don't remember the other number, but... <laughs> well, now we have more precision. For sure. So yeah. this gives us more control, which is oh, yeah. really great. You bet. Okay. Let's demonstrate the movement of these new servos. Sure. We're going to do some color tracking. So we go into the gear icon of the camera control and click on movement tracking. We can see here that now our values for forward speed, turn left and turn right are at 120, which is a little bit different than they used to be. Why is that? So these servos are a lot slower than the, the previous existing servos. And so we needed to bump up those, those speeds to get it to you know, operate at a, a, a decent level. So this again is for better control when we're doing our tracking. It is. So we've enabled movement tracking and I'm gonna click save. And we're gonna go into our tracking tab, click on color. All right, he's in place. And now let's see what his tracking looks like. So we set for the default of red. Let's give him something red to look at. Here's Ew. his ball. Good old Wilson. Oh, come here, adventure bot. And then if I take it away, he's stuck. Oh, he's sad. Okay, he can have his ball back. Why don't we turn him around? He's not looking at anything red. All, All right. right. Here you go, Adventure Bot. There I'm we tracking. go. Track so he's way. tracking his ball. And then as soon as you give it, look at that control. So he's got really good precision for, sure. for this tracking, for this movement, and you can really see those servos in action. Jeremy has one more thing to show us for these new servos, and what's that? Yeah, I wanted to show you guys just the RPM values. Here, we'll... Uh, We'll kind of show the voltage here. We'll stick this little guy on the on the battery. Show off that it's 7.4 volts. So 7.4 that, volts, okay. So that's, uh, you know, the battery value at, you know, mid-range, I'd say. So and this then, is a mid-charge. It's not fully charged, but it's also not dead. You bet. And so it's kind of like, a, it's your standard LiPo voltage, 7.4 volts. And uh, we'll show off the, the RPM at, 
7.4. So if you wouldn't mind hitting the forward button, Emily. Okay. And I'll use the RP, this good old mechanics RPM gauge that I got. Stick it on here. Shows that it's around, yeah, about 68 RPM at 7.4 volts. Great, and so RPM stands for revolutions per minute. You bet. Perfect. So that's our introduction to the new Easy Robot 360 HDD servos. Jeremy, thanks for showing us all that. Thanks for having me, Emily. In this episode, we introduce the new Easy Robot 360 HDD servos. These servos are used for AdventureBot. Because AdventureBot is a wheeled robot, he uses continuous rotation servos. So these are a new type of continuous rotation servo with better precision and control. The first change that you'll notice is that the old servos had a potentiometer, which needed to be calibrated. The new HDD servos don't require this step. The new HDD servos have better precision, better control, and have a linear relationship between the degrees of movement and the revolutions per minute, or RPM. This relationship means that if your battery is around 7.4 volts, you can actually predict how far your adventure bot is going to move within a certain number of minutes. Now this relationship is voltage dependent, so if your battery is fully charged or if it's almost in need of a charge, you might notice the relationship is a little bit different. We demonstrated the new servos using the tracking feature. You can see as AdventureBot follows his ball how smooth and controlled his movements are. If you're used to working with the previous 360 servos, you might find that these HDD servos are a little bit slower. With slower speed comes greater precision and greater control. This might mean that you have to adjust the servo values in your existing projects. The 360 HDD servos are a great way to advance our robotics technology. Thanks for watching this episode, and we'll see you next time. What does HDD stand for? What calibration component is no longer included? What are two advantages of the 360 HDD servos? Find the answers at therobotprogram.com.